次は貴様だ無駄だ<laughs> All right, hello and welcome. So, it's time to talk about Limbo's rework, because it's damn good. They did a really fantastic job reworking Limbo. Uh, he kind of actually fulfills kind of what he's supposed to be, which is a master of the rift, uh, as opposed to playing hide and seek in the rift, as he used to. Uh, so, Let's kind of just go over, kind of in order, what his abilities are for and what they do now. So his two used to be putting him in and out of the rift. That has since been changed and has been moved to his dodge, which is an auxiliary skill you always have access to and costs no energy. So when you dash, uh, which would normally be a roll, but he actually gets this really sweet little like Mega Man dash that kind of changes based on what direction you're going, uh, you can dash into and out of the rift. This is really snappy. It is really, like, it feels great to do. Um, and it's really effective. Uh, whenever you have enemies that are going to be immune to certain powers that you have, namely your time stop, which is going to be bosses, uh, being able to do this to get to safety very, very quickly uh, is awesome. So, with that, uh, his one to put enemies into and out of the rifts uh, no longer works unless you are on the same... Uh, plane of existence, I suppose, uh, as what you are trying to banish back and forth. Uh, so we'll use the example of these guys. If I go into my rift, I'm mashing one, and you can see I cannot, can't grab these guys. They can't bring them here. Uh, so that has slightly changed, uh, and instead, it is a nice AoE, uh, and you can send enemies there. So these guys are now all in the rift and can't affect me here. Your two stops time in the rift. So, time two guys can't move uh, and I can just get over here and all that business I can take them and make them leave which is what your one is going to be used for most of the time uh, and then you can turn your two on and off at will to kind of prep them whenever you need to do that business uh, it's really important to note uh, that your two can overload if you hit a 300 projectile limit uh, everything that is stopped will unfreeze uh, that's to make it so that lower end PCs don't crash, and I presume consoles would also have big troubles with that. Uh, so, that stuff is what it is. Uh, the limiter is actually fine, you just have to pay attention to it. Uh, and now, if enemies are outside of your rift, the thing you're going to use to bring them in is going to be your form. So these guys are now in the rift, uh, and like I said before, projectiles are stopped. So, you're, you have to employ melee to kill them while time is stopped. Uh, melee is not stopped, so you can very easily take care of them, uh, which is fantastic. And then whenever time moves again, anyone who stops, sometimes they ragdoll out if you like cut their limbs off and stuff, uh, and you'll know they're dead. But a lot of the time, they'll just still be frozen. You'll have to unfreeze uh, in order to like have them play their death animation. Uh, but the big way you're going to bring enemies in now is going to be your four, which is really important. It's also worth noting what I just did there. Uh, whenever your four closes, or like whenever you close your four, it's important to dash because closing your four will bring you out of the rift, which leaves you vulnerable. And most times you're going to want to go right back in, which I would highly suggest. Uh, other things, uh, your three functions a bit differently now. So if I bring this person in uh, and use my three on them, you see they get this like kind of electrical aura. Uh, this basically means that they are kind of primed. Uh, this will spread to nearby enemies whenever you cast it. Uh, and basically, whenever they would die in the rift, it'll explode. Uh, and if this is on them whenever Cataclysm closes, they will remain in the rift, which is pretty important if you would like to keep certain sections of enemies in the rift if you have a particularly big Cataclysm. Uh, that's incredibly useful. Also, with its augment, which we'll be going over in one of the builds, you can stack up a hell of a lot of extra damage. Uh, it does not have extra damage added on enemies innately as it used to. Uh, so... That's kind of what his abilities are doing now. Uh, so, let's go over some builds. He has, he has become significantly more complicated and kind of less complicated at the same time, and I really appreciate it. So this first build here is just called Full Stop. This is just for keeping time stopped, having full control over your Cataclysm, uh, and making sure you absolutely always have energy to stop time and do what you need to do. 
this is probably overkill in terms of efficiency and all that, but anyone can use this. It's very, very accessible. It's very easy to do. It's super simple. Uh, this is going to be just like really good for just general mission running and whenever your weapons are plenty to kill whatever you're fighting, which is probably going to be most of the time. Uh, really good just general use if your weapons are up to the task of killing whatever you're fighting. Killer Rift, on the other hand, this is for heavy damage. Uh, this does not use any efficiency and instead focuses on a lot of power strength to really hit motherfuckers hard. You can do a hell of a lot of damage here because at base, Rift Torrent is 30% extra damage per enemy affected by your three. This is affected by power strength, which means that's almost 60% extra damage per enemy affected. A 50% damage boost is pretty significant at face value. A 50% damage boost times 10 is kind of nuts. So you can do a shit ton of damage with this build uh, and pretty much just kill whatever you want. Uh, I would highly suggest using this build with melee so that you can use melee, which is the best weapon type in the game right now. Like of, of the sections, primary, secondary, melee, melee is the best. Melee is also not hindered by time being stopped, so... Limbo is highly incentivized to use melee, uh, and I would very much suggest that. Uh, this build is incredibly powerful, and to be fairly honest, you're not going to need this amount of damage in, like, 90% of cases. Only really use this if you've got, like, a weapon you feel like is weak. Maybe you're leveling something. This could be really good for that. Uh, and then finally, I have a looting build. Uh, the thing about this is for any of you that are looking for a thing to replace the Telus Boltes, which is totally worthless now, uh, and it can't open boxes... Uh, Limbo's 4 can open boxes, so just max range, max efficiency. You can spam it and open a bunch of boxes if you're looking to do that, and that's what this is for, obviously. Um, we're going to show full stop first in the test that we normally do, uh, and then we'll show Killer Rift's damage potential uh, at the kind of end there. Uh, it's going to be fairly obvious that this is a um, very easy test for Limbo. It is not a big deal. He's very, very good at killing things at the current time. He's he he murders enemies. He definitely he's kind of he's kind of got it down. Uh, the only thing that can really mess with you is going to be nullifiers, and that is only kind of. Um, the thing about nullifiers is that they cannot nullify you. Like if you dash into the rift, they actually won't bring you out of the rift if you enter their bubble while you're in the rift, um, which is really nice. But they can close your cataclysm, which can fuck you up. Uh, so having an overly large cataclysm, I would not really recommend. Uh, and you'll have to dash out of the rift to deal with nullifiers. That being said, you can dash towards them with a shotgun and fucking ruin their lives forever. Uh, so, would highly suggest taking a shotgun on Limbo. It's a nice little accessory to him for murder. Uh, that being said, let's get started with this test. It's going to be real simple. So immediately just dash into the rift. Uh, and these, it's, it's not... It can't, it can't really fight, uh, it, so I can just, like, stop time, and bring him in, uh, and here we are. Uh, if a Bombard fires, what, like, the second they enter the rift, their projectile will be stopped. If it's in the rift with you, you'll definitely notice it, um, and you can kind of just fuck around if time stopped if you're just worried about enemies uh obviously we are going to melee them and get rid of them super hard uh because i would i would definitely suggest that and these guys are all dead so let's start time back up uh stop it again dash over here hey bring these guys in uh and and you kind of uh kind of have Free, free reign to um, really do some bad shit. Uh, just being worried about that projectile limit is important. On shotguns, it's worth noting each pellet counts as a projectile, so knowing how many pellets your shotgun fires is pretty important. Uh, fire that guy too. Uh, and then we can start time back up, and they're dead. Uh, so that's pretty great. Oh, this here, I actually didn't fire enough shots uh, on this one. That's not a big deal. Uh, whenever you start time back up, like if you're using a hit scan weapon, all the the things will fire immediately. If you're using a weapon like Spira, they actually fire in a sequence. Uh, so if we've got something like this, uh, you'll notice that these will fire like one at a time. Like I can unpause and then pause again, and some of them are still hanging there, and you can you can see them as they're flying. Uh, so that's important to take note if you're not using a hit scan weapon. They have they have a slight delay 
uh, on whenever they kind of like would get thrown, I suppose, in this case. Uh, so that's really important to note if you're looking to do that. Uh, also, uh, your projectiles will stay in the rift. They won't cross over if you cross over, which is worth noting, of course. Uh, and yeah, like this is like, like let's not pretend that this is like super fair here, right? It's really not. It's really not. It is a hell of a lot of fun though. It is like, it's good stuff. Like I have a, I've been having a real fun time doing this. Like it, it's hard to pretend that I have not been having a good time doing some hilarious shit like this. It is a super fun time. Uh, and yeah, that's a, that's full stop. You're always gonna have energy for it. Enemies that you kill in the rift will refund you energy. You're constantly regenerating energy just by being in the rift. Uh, you can use Zenric in conjunction with any of your powers. Uh, so you can have that extra energy regeneration on top of it. It's incredibly powerful. Moving on, let's talk about some damage potential. Killer Rift. We're gonna use this against, let's say eight enemies. Uh, we'll be using the Adorex. I'll show it with and without. You're going to notice a pretty significant difference in um, how long it takes to kill these guys. And it's only eight. Keep in mind, it's only eight enemies. Uh, with only eight enemies, you're not getting, I would say, even close to what you're usually going to get in terms of a damage boost from your augment. But I think eight is a good, solid number to test at. Uh, so we're going to stop time. We're going to send these guys in. And then we're just going to use the Adorax Murder. You can see about how long this is gonna take. With this, you're gonna to need to ramp up with the Adorax a bit more. Obviously, the Adorax is still an incredible weapon, uh, and it can totally handle these guys at face value. Uh, and you saw how fast it killed those guys. Still, really good weapon, uh, fantastic weapon to use with Limbo in this case, And although that's kind of any melee weapon. Uh, Galatine, if you got a very small Cataclysm, would maybe be suggested uh, for some very, very focused killing, as that's higher focus damage, less overall damage than an Adorax, because it's a smaller area. Uh, and then, this time, with the boost to damage. So with this, we're going to be stopping them all, hitting three. As you can see, it's spread to all of these enemies. So we're getting, um, yeah, we're getting like about 500% extra damage, and you're going to see that pretty obviously. Pretty obvious that we're getting significantly increased damage here. Uh... It's a hell of a lot, and you can get way more than that. Uh, it's not going to be uncommon for you to hit 1,000% extra damage with this build. It fucking hurts. And it is absolutely viable to do an even higher strength version of this build. I don't think that's really necessary for anything, but you could do it. You could, like, you could totally, if you really wanted to, you could forego natural talent, be like, fuck that. Um, just for, like, Prime Flow, I think you would want this, but not, nah, don't, like, you could add a shit ton of strength. I don't really know why you would do that. I don't really feel like there's any content in the game that asks you to do that or that you need to do that for. But you could. Uh, it's incredibly powerful. It, I, it's one thing I would suggest, though, is to use Energy Siphon on this and Xenoric, because it is going to be very, very energy hungry to do that a lot, especially if you're using Blind Rage. Uh, but yeah, it does a hell of a lot of damage, and it's real good at it would very much just melee in any either of these builds uh with limbo uh, although obviously projectile weapons are super fun with this and yeah that's kind of limbo right now he is really fun uh let's go over the few couple bad things though so unfortunate things you cannot hack while in the rift which means you're gonna have to be vulnerable to do any kind of hacking i really wish that whenever you brought panels into your rift you could hack them because that would allow Limbo to actually hack things. As it stands right now, uh, he can't do hacking. Also, worth noting for raids and stuff, those of you that are doing that, he cannot stand on buttons while in the rift. Even if he brings the button into the rift, he cannot stand on it, which is really unfortunate. Um, but it very much hinders him in doing any content where you need to hack or where you need to stand on buttons. 
And also, as we said earlier, he cannot time stop bosses, so you kind of have to employ a different strategy. Um, what I used in the bosses I fought was just to dash into the rifts, wait for an opening, dash out of the rift, and then blast them, and then dash back into the rifts for safety. Um, that's a really, really fun way to fight, I think, and it is like totally reasonable to do that. Um, or alternatively, if there's like a bunch of ads or something that you don't want to have to deal with, there's just a bunch of like baby enemies that like might kill you. Um, you could totally just bring, you can bring bosses and stuff into the rift with your four and your one and all that. Um, they just won't be affected by the time stop. So that's really important to note. Um, but yeah, I think that is going to just about do it. That's how Limbo is right now. They really did a bang up job um, making him feel like what he's billed as, which is a master of the rift. Uh, and I would very, very easily set him at A rank now, which is a big comeuppance from where he was before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you tomorrow.